So if I was, for instance, let's copy something out of here first, simply select from this table and say where this value equals, I should get some kind of an index scan on this table. And I don't, which is interesting. Well, probably what's happened is the optimizer has assumed that the index is so large and the table relatively not that much larger because it doesn't have many columns that it may as well actually read the index. But obviously I could force the index to be read and the index name is FKO and we need to close the hint off and we need to code it properly obviously and it's using an index brain scan and it's a little bit more expensive the reason why is because this table does not actually have many columns so the index is not actually that much smaller let's go and do a join between a big table and a small table and attempt to force the large table to be read first and here we can see that filtering is still not executed on the large table the optimizer still assumes that the full table scan on this table is faster than reading the index and the fact is it's probably correct for the simple reason that the table is not that large it has a lot of rows but not a lot of columns I can do the same thing using the Oracle proprietary form of, of join where I'm actually before I'm executing the join I'm trying to force the where clause filter on the large table first and the chances are we're going to get exactly the same result and there we have it again it's the optimizer has assumed that it should do a full scan on the large table and once again it's probably correct we can do various other things, like for instance, I can go into the join and try to force the join order with the ordered, ordered hint. And it's actually changed the order now, because now I've got general ledger first, here I had it second. And it does the general ledger full scan, because once again, the index is not faster to read. In this case, I'm actually going to use the ordered hint and attempt to force it to use the foreign key index on the large table which it does do but yet again it's even slower as we can see here's the proof of why it keeps using the full scan because the cost of the full scan is 3119 and then the cost of actually reading the index and going into the table is 3653 minus 4 it's more expensive there are other things we can do I can attempt to embed the large tables query into an inline view pushing all the columns from the inline view back into the main query and do the filtering in the inline view and it still accesses the general ledger table in full because as far as it's concerned the optimizer that is it's faster if for instance no columns are required to be pulled from the COA table I can actually use a semi join so I'm actually simply reading the general ledger table and we can actually show the use of the full table scan and there it says just access the full table because it doesn't think that the index is faster to read and it's probably correct so using a semi join again table access full and using in as a semi-join. This has changed it slightly but the cost is still relatively the same. Note that the number of rows read here is a lot less. Now it's possible that if I was to run timing queries on these I would get a much lower value. There are various ways that we can actually tune SQL code statements without using hints However, that kind of tuning is a little bit beyond the scope of this certification test because it can get highly complex and it's generally subjective rather than objective and depends entirely on the application, circumstances and your environment.